Develop calluses in your mind as you do on your hands. Yesterday I talked about David Goggins and one of his uh, models, mantras, something that like metaphors that he's described about how he's developed his mental resilience is to develop calluses in your mind as you do in your hands. Now, I <laughs> regrettably don't even have enough calluses that I'd like to show you, but you can see a couple there. And I know that sounds for, especially for probably for some of the men, it sounds like uh, it's weak compared to what I used to have when I was in construction full time. And again, following the garage project, if you've been f watching me do the renovations and stuff, four or five weeks ago, I had, I had no calluses on my hands probably whatsoever because I hadn't been swinging tools in a while. And the more hard work you do, the tougher your, your calluses will become, the tougher your skin's going to become. And the exact same thing applies to your mindset. So for example, using calluses on your hands again, what happens when you do something hard that you haven't conditioned yourself for, it's, it's going to hurt more. It's going to be easier to quit. You'll have tears, like your, your skin will tear a lot easier. You'll get a blister. Um, you know, it's, it's going to deter you from wanting to continue if you especially aren't conditioned or determined enough and driven enough to continue to push through that discomfort. And the exact same thing is happening in your mind when you start something difficult. When you're trying to condition your mind, when you're doing something hard for the first time especially, you're going to feel weak. You're going to get resistance. Uh, you're going to feel soft. You know, feeling soft is something that is going to stop you frequently from continuing. Um, you know, for example, it's like if you try something, maybe try to learn a new program, uh, try to learn a new computer program, and the first time you try to do it, you can't figure it out, you're going to want to back off because it hurts. It's, just, it's uncomfortable to feel embarrassed, to not know the answer, to have to reread problems or the instructions over and over again. That's happened to me before. I, I fucking hate reading shit. I just want somebody to show me, show me how it's done and I can figure it out. I hate reading it, but often I don't have somebody beside me to show me I can go to YouTube and watch tutorials, but sometimes I know like I can do that and I do do that, but still sometimes you can't find the answers. You just have to sit there and read a tutorial and that frustrates the hell out of me. I hate doing it, but it's an example of, you know, developing calluses in your mind that when you start to do something and you're discouraged, um, it starts to, um, you know, break you down mentally feeling as though you're not strong enough, tough enough, you haven't got it figured out, you're going to want to throw in the towel and you're going to want to quit. However, if you continue to do hard things, if you continue to do these difficult things, you will continue to strengthen your mind as you would your hands. You start to develop calluses because you know that you're tougher because you've done it before. You've developed a new layer of confidence and of knowledge and of experience to draw upon knowing that you have what it takes to do that similar task or something of that similar nature again having calluses on your hands or from my hands or any of us it's like i know that i now have tougher skin physically like this is both like literally physically and metaphorically i have tougher skin when, when they say the words like, you know, thick in your skin or you've got thicker skin because you've been through shit. It's like, this is the example. It's not a ton right now. I am not bragging about the small puny little calluses I have, but there's something more than what I had previously. I've thickened my skin. I've got tougher skin because I've spent a period of time doing difficult tasks, which gives me the confidence that I can now take on a more difficult task and not break down as easily. So referencing David Goggins, uh, kind of building on some of the previous videos I've done, you know, uh, I forget if it was yesterday's video or the one before where I talked about, um, you know, embrace winter, because if you continue to put yourself out there in the cold weather, you're not letting it mentally defeat you. It's one more thing for you to feel like you do have control over that you are strengthening your mind to not let the external environment and temperatures dictate your life and so that's the message for today building on that video building on david goggins is that you want to develop 
calluses in your mind as you do on your hands, even if it's not a lot, even if it's just a couple. It's, fuck all. It's not that much, but it's more than I had four weeks ago. And then four weeks from now, I'll have something more than I did today as well. Continue to develop and strengthen your mind. Develop calluses in your mind as you do on your hands. It's how you become more resilient. It's also how you become a hero in your own movie. Kevin Rimple, peace out. Catch you tomorrow.